get to the blues. Uh, this is straight blues. I was playing it over a 12 bar blues with blues licks in the blues scale. I'm feeling blue. Everything's blue. The sky's blue. Um, and that's what my daughter says sarcastically when I ask her what's up. She says, this guy, this guy. Um, okay, so check it out though. We're going to stay in that A rooted blues scale. And we're going to climb out of it a little bit just so you can see how things are pieced together when you're playing up and down the neck. But we're going to play right in this position here where the root, the root is right there on the 15th fret of the A string. So 15, 18, 15, 17, 15, 17, 16, 18, 15, 18. So that's the scale. Okay? But there's going to be times where we play right below it, so the root's right there on the 15. You have this little box sliding from the ring finger on the eight, uh, 17, then 13 on the D, down to the root with the ring finger. Another thing is, you know, the straight pentatonic that we use a lot, there's a great little thing that's kind of that BB box style, but it's going to be right here where I'm finding it by the root, which is on the 10th fret of the D string right there, right? That's the root that normally would be right here, right? But what we're going to do instead is think of our index finger there, and I'm going to play this. I'm going to slide from the 10 to the 12 on the A string with my ring finger, there it is, which gives you that BB major E sound. Just like we did in the BB box in a higher octave, we're gonna do it right here. And then you've got that minor third right there, which is the 13 of the D. You'd use your ring finger. Now I'm going to show you the lick, the actual lick I'm going to teach you, but with all this stuff you should internalize it and then improvise off of the lick, just like when you learn a vocabulary word and then you're supposed to put it in a sentence. It's that same thing. So we're going to do this. First I'm going to play the whole lick. So it gets us in a few different positions. It's all in C. It's all stuff I use a lot. So here we are, 15 to 17 on the G. But you, all the, always a little nudge. And then a nudge there, which is going to be the 16 of the B. And I'm using my middle finger. Okay. Then we repeat that like a motif. We start the same way, but instead of that note, it's going to be my ring finger on the 18th fret of the B with a bend, whole step bend. So when you put those together, and notice the breaths in between. Oops, sorry. the top, then 
Then that repeating idea again. But then we're going to bend this 18th fret of the high E string up a whole step to the, to the root. Use all three fingers to dig in. The tips of your fingers bent so you can straighten your finger out to get that bend. Then we let it go natural. And then my index is going to go to the 15 of the high E from that 18 bend. Here it is from the top again. Okay. So from the ring finger is going to go to the 18 of the B, and we're going to bend that up. So. So that's what I'm doing. We're bending it not all the way a whole step, just a little nudge, and then re releasing it to the 13, or sorry, to the 14 of the high E. Look at this. Okay, so from the top, next one, next one. So we we're going to do that twice, then a whole step bend, so check it out, two and then a whole step bend that we hold out, and then pinky is going to go to the 18 of the high E while I'm holding that 18 of the B bend. Look at this. See my pinky right there? I'm bending that and then hitting my pinky. Letting it come back down. Then, once we let it go down, then we're going to bend it back up and pull it off. Like that. Look at that. The middle finger, you're not hearing that note at all. It's just these two together, like they're glued together. And then that index finger is planted. on that uh, 16, I think I called that 14 earlier, I'm sorry, that's the 16, and then two times, so it's two da da on the root right there, and I'm using my middle finger, and that's the uh, 17th fret of the G. So let's do it from the top again, see if you can follow along. Next one. Next one. One more time like that, just that stuff. I'm going to do it even slower and really see if you can break it down. First phrase and a breath. Second phrase. Third phrase. So then I'm doing a weird finger transition. Oops, sorry. So I'm bending that 16 of the B just a little bit. Then I'm doing a pull off from the 17 to the 15. And then real quickly getting to the 17 of the D. It looks like this. Slide that ring finger down a whole step. Then the 13 of the D to the 15 of the A, which is the root. Okay.
that much so far. idea from there is to just slide up to that 12 of the A with the ring finger and then hitting that root note right there and you can go back and forth between those and then eventually get to that 13 of the D Think of this little three note position right here, 12, 10, 13, in any combination. So forth and so on. So get that lick down and you'll be amazed at the new licks that will come out of it. I promise.